everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your third week of uh, January read start from the 15th through the 21st of uh, January 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Aquarius. So let's see what is coming up for Aquarians for the third week of uh, January time. And um, I will be adding uh, oracle cards in this reading, plus uh, I will be also adding color card in this reading as well. So stay tuned. Before I dive into the read, let me remind you. It is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. And um, for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So Aquarius, let's see how the third week of January 2022 is going to be for you guys. Aquarius. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. I do see you communicating to a lot of people um, and I do see you having happy time with the friends and family as well. I feel like you know, this week is going to be a time where you are going to start getting back on track for your life. Um, things between you and your specific someone would also improve if you are having any issues with them as of now. I feel like you know those issues will start getting resolved um, as you enter into this week time. Uh, I do see the clouds of your doubts getting clear as well and uh, in your connection with your specific someone. Um, I do see happy times together coming up for the two of you. Let's see more cards here. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. For some of you, you might be applying uh, for, for jobs or work overseas as well. And if that is happening, I feel like you, know, you have an immense uh, chance of uh, winning uh, that you know, competition of uh, you when, you know, applying for that same position. I do see you uh, kind of uh, shining bright when it comes to um, you in regards to your love, work or home life situation. Um, for some of you, you might be hitting a jackpot when it comes to work, finances as well. And um, it might have to do something to do with travel. It's not going to be where you are living. It can be uh, maybe a distant land. It can be a uh, uh, uh you know one to two hours drive as well but i feel like you know, it's away from where you are living but i feel like you know there's a chance of growth in in regards to your work career life right now which is going to be amazing for some of you you might be able to find a job placement where you want to be living with your family with your specific someone as well so i, I do see growth i do see clarity i do see happiness i do see abundance coming up for you in in your life in this week time Wow, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, wow, King of Cups. I do see that um, okay, I need the deck we do have Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel like, you know, there are certain decisions that you will be making in this week time, which has to do between your work and your love life. Who are you going to choose? Your work, your stability, or your love life, or your career goals? Um, I do see that for some of you, you might have to uh, take an opportunity of traveling away from where you are living to a distant land where you might have financial growth, but maybe your family is not going to be with you. Your loved one is not going to be with you. So you might be in that decision making situation this week time where you have to choose either to live where you are living and be okay with whatever you're getting out of it, uh, or you choose to travel away from where you are living and then um, have you know much more expected raise in your finances. But at the same time, maybe in that situation, your love life is going to get affected. So what is it that you're going to choose? Love or work? Career goals or your love goals? I feel like it's going to be that kind of a week for you where you will have to make a choice. Somehow, I don't see you taking that choice in this week time. At least I don't see that. Uh, you might choose to kind of, you know, delay the situation. Maybe that's exactly what you are talking or kind of, you know, having that uh, discussion about that. Maybe I need some more time to think about it or something as well. Um but I feel like you know you are you are so uh, ready to to explore um, you know different uh, you know side to your career path, but at the same time you are unable to break free from a specific someone and your expectation out of out of a connection as well because whoever it is that you're currently dealing with in love I feel like you know you really um, feel very attached to that person so. At the same time, it's going to be a different uh, scenario where you will have to make a choice. So um, I don't see you making that choice this week time. But yes, I feel like you know you will ultimately have to choose love or 
uh, you know, career. Um, <clears throat> I just see you very upset because you really have to make the choice. Um, and you feel that you are not prepared to make that choice right now. Um, but the offer that you are getting, it seems like you know this offer is exactly what you wanted when it comes to finances, work, and everything. Now, for some of you, the work offer that I'm picking up could be coming as an offer in your love life as well. Maybe there is a specific someone that you're currently dealing with, and then there is a specific someone who is coming and offering you exactly what you wanted. So maybe you are going to be like you know indecisive there as well for some of you, but that's what is happening for you in this week time. Uh, indecision is what I'm picking up very strongly here, but you have to make that choice, which is going to be difficult, but yes, sir, you, you got to basically. So let's see what else is happening. What else is uh, coming up for you for this week time? But yeah, let's see uh, what is going to be the lucky color for you to have this week time. Burgundy, awaken your passion, number 10. I feel like you know, it's very important for you to listen to your passion. Um, whatever you are more passionate about, love, work, whatever it is, go about it with fully into it. Like, you know, just take one decision and stick to that. Um, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe for some of you... Um, let me see. Would you be taking that decision? If um, I do see you choosing your love over other areas of your life as well in this week time, at least. I feel like, you know, this week is going to be hard for you to make that decision. But I feel like, you know, you are going to let your passion lead you. So are you more passionate about your love life or are you more passionate about your work? You will have to make a choice, love or career. Um, lemon uh, excess and weight of thinking. Number 23, now for some of you, you might be able to find a perfect idea to pursue both at, a, the, at the same time as well. And I feel like you know, it's more about looking within and trying to figure out for yourself rather than keeping yourself stuck. Maybe you have to choose either one of them. Um, you can choose both. Uh, but you have to be very uh, thoughtful around it. How can you make it happen? One thing. For others of you, for those of you who are dealing with two people and two offers in love, I feel like you know, in that situation, um, you are going to choose your passion for a specific someone. You're not going to choose the one who is ready to give you whatever you want to have in your love life. I feel like you are going to go for the one that you loved as well. So let's see what else is happening for you for this week time. But the choice has to be made, basically. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like you, know, you will be choosing to have fun with your person. You are going to choose your love life because that adds a lot of happiness to you or to your life. Uh, it can be just one part of your life or one area of your life which gives you immense pleasure. It gives you immense um, happiness. Being with a specific someone is something that you really want that you really want to have so maybe that is going to kind of you know um lead you to take certain decisions which might end up you choosing to marry that person as well for some of you or you choosing to start living in with that person so you live in together and then you pursue whatever passion you have for your work together so that can be happening for some of you as well in this week time but yes i feel like you know this week you are going to make that decision or try to delay the decision till the next week time but yeah let's see what else is Coming up for you in the guidance. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So again, I feel like in the decision that you have to make is going to be, um, you know, the the thing which is going to redirect you in many ways. I feel like you, know, you are going to, your one choice, one decision is going to change the way you look at your life and the way you look at things. For majority of you, I do see you choosing love over um, different areas of your life right now um, no doubt everything is important but yes I feel like right now you would uh, you would choose love so um, because that adds happiness to you and you feel like you know whatever adds adds happiness to you or to your life is what you want you are going to choose so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it helped you do like share, and subscribe till later the next reading for you guys take care bye